for Bonus Tag Comics. I'm going to shoot a video today of some books that I've picked up and have acquired over the last couple weeks or so. So, uh, <clears throat> these first ones I'm going to show are pretty much like image books and um, some, uh, besides image, some independent like Dark Horse books, uh, Camco, and uh, just looking, and uh, gosh, I'm trying to Epic Comics. So it'll be kind of a blend of a bunch of books for this haul. Um, so without further ado, this is a new issue. Of course, it just came out. It's called World Tier 33. Um, I haven't read it yet, but the cover, I remember this being posted and being shown about this book. And uh, I'm going to hopefully get a chance to read it this week. Um, I finally got a copy of Young Blood number two, which is the first appearance of Prophet and the first appearance of Shadowhawk, which is just cool. Stoked to get that for seven bucks. Um, I stumbled across this issue, Rose, the other day. Um, number one, this is uh, Meredith Finch writing on this. And I was mainly going after um, some key covers. One that Eric Powell did for her. Uh, one that, um, oh gosh, she'll come in a few minutes, but here's the George Perez cover that I wanted to get. Love that, man. That's just awesome. I'm trying to remember the other one. It will come to me probably when I'm all done, right? But I'm sorry, that was, uh, that's number one. This is number five. This is number 15. Got big cat on there, which is cool. Here's number 15. I'm sorry, number 16. Gee, many Christmas. And here's number 17, the last issue. So this is Meredith Finch. It's run, uh, her writing. So I'm really excited to dive into that and get, get into reading this story. Because uh, I got issue one. I believe I have issue two. But when I find them, I'm just going to at least read one through five for the first part. Because that's what I believe I have up to. And then I'm kind of spotty on the rest of the run. But it's only a 17 issue run. And there's a bunch of variant covers to it. God, I wish I remembered what the, uh, the other one was. Hmm. I'll come to you later. Here's Spawn 340. That's always going to be on my pull list. Here's Spawn 340 as well. And I didn't realize that I didn't have this cover because I'm never sure which LCS is going to pull what cover. So when I go to one, I grab the cover that I know I didn't get from the first one. And sometimes there's connecting covers. I never know. So I got two, co two copies of that. Here's King Spawn issue 21. I believe that might be a connecting cover. Here's uh, Scorched number 16. It's a nice cover. Because this next one is a connecting cover, and I was so glad to see that I did get the connecting cover. Because whenever I know there's a connecting cover, I try to, I try my hardest to get it. Here's number 17 of Scorched. So you have to get number 17. And then you have to get number 19 of Gunslinger to connect that. Hopefully I'm doing it justice. So there's number 19 of Gunslinger, which again, got two copies of that one. So that's cool. <laughs> Here's Gunslinger number 19 as well. So, you know, it's a variant in the connecting cover. <clears throat> I love Spawn. I don't mind if I ever have doubles of, of any Spawn issue books. It's about me one bit. Um, here's a book I grabbed um, just because of the cover, to be honest. And uh, I, I'm definitely looking forward to reading it. I skimmed through it. I love the artwork and it's Redemption. This is number one. It's cover A. And here is cover B. Covers are pretty cool. The next issue covers look pretty sweet too. So just for the covers alone, I love it. And you got some girls with blades, so JP would like that. Um, which, by the way, uh, I've been enjoying his videos as late, just like Mr. Riggity Giggity's and uh, Pope Grimey's. Uh, gosh, there's been a couple other videos I've watched. Uh, Metal Rogs, I've watched his stuff. I've been watching a lot of uh, Dr. Von Chella which is great and uh captain strange life i've been watching a few of his here's a uh, deviate number seven it's ramos i believe it's ramos cover 
Um, and this does say Kirby, but it's not the Kirby we know. It's a different Kirby. It's a younger version of Kirby. <laughs> Just kidding. Number 13 of DB8. And here is number 23. This is a run I'm definitely trying to complete. It's not too bad of a run. I like the artwork on it, the style. Here's a book I believe I got. Oh yeah, I grabbed it because Mike Zek did the cover. This is uh, Damned, or Deemed. Damned, yeah, it's Damned. Sorry, my bad. Number one, Mike Zek did the cover for that. Here is a square bound book of Troll number two, number one. Issue one, but it's Troll number two. Here is, grab this, because it's a Perillo cover, Vampirilla Strikes, issue 10. That's a new book, of course. Um, these are back issues. I guess I could say that, but I'm pretty sure most people would know. Um, here's Ghost number one. Uh, I believe this is probably like my third copy now. It's an Adam Hughes cover. And uh, what got me really collecting Ghosts was because my uncle Randy Amberlin did a lot of the inking for this run, and I got those books. Yeah, most of all those. I think this is volume, that might be volume two. This is volume, I want to say three. That's ghost, uh, excuse me, I'm burping. That's ghost number one for, I believe, volume three. I needed that book and I, I can't believe I found it the other day. I was going for free comic book day. Here's a back issue book. Um, it's got the COA included. It's Wizard World, um, or it's Wizard at number half, Top Cow, a uh, Witchblade. Show you that real quick. There's the cover. I needed that because I am trying to complete that run as well, which blade. So that's one of the books I needed. And we're almost going to be done here with all the independents. Uh, here's Dark Horse uh, Boris the Bear, number three. And issue number one. I want to say this isn't the Canadian variant. But it's one of the variants because there's like three different ones um <clears throat> but this is the one i needed for kind of have the issue so i can almost have all the number ones you know they get ridiculous with that i want to say this is the last issue of archer and armstrong for valiant issue number 25 but then on my clz it does show like another book um after this but it's not under the title though of archer and armstrong i don't believe i believe it's under another title like a crossover but that supposedly is the last issue um, paid a dollar for that. This I paid a quarter for, Robotech Masters. I figured why not? I needed to, you know, make it an even five so I can get the books for a buck. Get five bucks for a buck is better than paying a quarter for one or two books. I mean, either way you look at it. That's number three for Masters. This is Robotech uh, number seven. The more, uh, Mark Ross Saga. Well, sorry, butchered that. Um, I believe I showed this book already, but it's um, Battle Zones. This is the one I believe I showed on um, JP and Pope Grimey's uh, live stream that they did. I was showing the, the interiors of that book because they did a crossover between Malibu and Marvel characters and threw them in a bunch of panels, which is great by a bunch of different artists. Um, here is Red Dragon. Tom Co. this number one. Made me think of the character from, uh, oh gosh, Mortal Kombat. No, Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Sorry, Blanca. I believe that's the character. Uh, here's G.I. Joe, number two. This is Dark Horse. Basically got that for a quarter as well, just like I did the other book. Uh, this one I got for a quarter as well. This is uh, The Shadow, one of four. And the Coils of the Labyrinth. Um, Critters. Now this one I want to say I paid like two bucks for, number two. And then this is St. George. Um, I don't believe I needed issue one, but I grabbed it anyways. There's issue one, because I believe I did already have a copy of that. I want to say this is a five-part series. Here's issue two. And I want to say Bill St. Cabbage was the reason why, um, I started looking into this run. I want to say he was he was one of the main reasons why, because I love his artwork. So that's number three. So I believe I only need two more issues and I'll have that whole run completed, which is nice. And then I'm down to my last four books. Um, this is Epic Comics. This is uh, Powerline. 
and this is issue number one. This is issue number two. I was able to get these all for a quarter. I want to say this is like an eight or a ten. No, it, I think it's like an eight or a twelve uh, part series. Here's number three. Look on that base is pretty interesting. And here's issue four for the run. So, that being said, this is Tag Comics, and enjoy your collecting. And uh, you definitely be safe out there, you know. And just it's worth diving into quarter bins, dollar bins if you have them. Um, or even back issues every once in a while because you can find books, you know, of, of at least covers that are interesting like these ones. I'm interested in these covers. I think they're really cool, especially that one. Um, you can get them for the dead cheap, you know, and if you don't like it, you can always just donate the book. That being said, rock on.